the second highest number ever at the mid-year mark. In Florida, a 60-year-old African-American man is recovering from bullet wounds after sheriff's deputies shot him in his own yard, even though he was unarmed. According to the Pensacola News Journal, Roy Middleton was rummaging for a cigarette in his mother's car early Saturday morning when deputies arrived in response to a call from a neighbor who suspected him of burglary. Deputies claim Middleton lunged at them with something metallic in his hand. Middleton says he merely heeded calls to show his hands while holding keys with a metal flashlight attached. Deputies deployed about 15 rounds of ammunition, shattering Middleton's leg and riddling the car with bullets. Meanwhile, in Toronto, Canada, hundreds of people gathered Monday to protest the fatal police shooting of an 18-year-old teen early Saturday that was caught on video and went viral online. The video shows Sami Yatim standing inside an empty streetcar holding a knife while police train their guns on him from outside. While Yaktim appears to remain inside the streetcar, several yards from the police outside, nine shots are heard in less than 15 seconds. Police then approach Yatim and deploy a taser. Yatim died from the gunshot wounds. The officer involved has been placed on paid suspension. His actions are under investigation.